All right, we have the one chord, A. At the second fret, we're gonna go. Same shape, starting on the seventh fret. Back to A. Now we're gonna go to E at the ninth fret. Here's that a little bit slower. Then the last lick, we find the one chord again, an octave higher than previously, and that will be found at the 14th fret. I had a little flub in there, check it out. Just strings one and two, from 13 to 14. And then you mute the two strings you just played with the same two fingers and pluck your thumb on the third string. Now here it is in context with the song. It starts on the four chord. One chord. Five chord. Four chord. One chord. Five chord. So now these weren't note for note recreations of of the licks that we just did. You know, you kind of have to massage them a little bit to, to work in the song, but it's pretty darn close and that's at least a good starting point. Um, you know, play them note for note, but also put your own spin on them. That's just kind of a good jumping off uh, place.